Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone time. So we finally finished Blackrock Spire, and immediately it's already time for Blackwing Lair. Let's take a look at that. It, this is this one's got four bosses. Wow. First uh, first card is one a lot of people consider it a crap card. It's Revenge. It deals one damage to all minions, like Whirlwind Attack. But for that one extra mana, you get nothing unless you have 12 or less health, in which case it does three damage to all minions. Which is, you know, that's that's a decent board clear, but pretty dire circumstances. Razor Core! Destroy this ungrateful brat. We're in Nefarian's Lair now. So this guy... One mana, give all corrupted eggs plus one health, then summon one. Hmm. You don't know what his corrupted eggs are. Probably going to be messed up, whatever it is. Uh, I'm just going to go with my Warlock deck. It's one of my most just my most straightforward, just like, fighting deck right now. I think, my, I think a lot of my other decks are in, like, a strange place. I guess I could have gone with my Rogue. I, I rebuilt my, like, regular... Rogue deck, I think. Have I? No, I think I changed that too. Uh, my decks are all messed up by playing all these challenges all the time. And the fact that you only get nine stupid decks. Just just having a solo adventure, they should force them to give you more decks so you don't have to break all your friggin' like decks that you like. It's really stupid. Uh, this looks like an okay start. We'll keep it. So, what is it? His eggs? Easy. When it has four or more health, it hatches. And that's probably bad news. So he gives him plus one health, and then gets a new egg. So keeping those down is probably a big deal, because I'm guessing when they come out, they're rough. Your soul shall suffer! I will scramble you! Scrambled eggs, huh? Classy. Beating those down could be tricky. The Fell Cannon should help. <coughs> so, because the way they because they pop when they hit four health, it is actually worth softening them up. So we're actually going to do that. We'll keep that one down for a while. That'll keep that one down for good. That's why I'm killing them, you dumbass. Now, is this going to take out my... Uh, well, that's not very helpful. He's protecting the eggs, but I can still... Here, well, we're going to put out the... We're going to draw a card and put out the micro machine, since I drew him. If I hadn't drawn the micro machine, I would have just played my harvest goal. Okay, well, he's fun in that he freaks out every time you do something. Uh, she's potentially a problem. I don't have a good way to deal with her. I guess I'm going to have to doom guard her. Oh, what? Run out of quotes? I'll get you next time. Get it next time. I'm only allowed to do that, like, once per month, because it's that bad on the throat. <coughs> Coughing may be unrelated, though. I'm still kind of getting over that cold. So his eggs are not panning out. He knows this now, unless he has some good board clear coming in. I've got to get something going, though. Oh, I could keep bashing the eggs as a priority, and then Alex Straza. I mean, I gotta put out more stuff. I've got lots of life. I could be drawing more cards, but I, I can keep putting out guys here. So I will. Now, if I remove all the targets, this thing might actually blow up my own Doom Guard. Unfortunately, it probably will. Nevertheless, I think we're going to still prioritize that. I'm going to hit him. 
I'm going to risk this thing by killing that. Because again, I've, I've got sort of an edge. If he was going to board clear, this would probably die anyway. Woohoo! Fell Cannon Sniper. Sometimes you have great luck with them, sometimes you don't. It usually feels like you're having pretty good luck with them because you don't play a lot of non mechs when you're playing with the Fell Cannon. Two damage and a turn to a non mech is awesome. Um. Well, now it's going to automatically kill that, so that's a load off my mind. I guess I'm going to draw a card, because then I can play Sludge Belcher. Mana works out. Or, since there are no enemies out there, like, it's less mana efficient, but I'm going to put out the Pilot Shredder, because he protects me against, uh... Yeah, he protects me pretty much the, just as well against board clear. So that costs one mana, but he has to do it every turn. I'm guessing on the higher difficulty it costs zero, but I'm wondering, like, maybe the threshold is lower, or maybe whatever he gets out of them is bigger. I don't know. What what he gets out of these must be pretty friggin' huge. If it's only a 6-6, six, six, I don't know. Uh, I wonder if he's got minions in there that add hit points to other minions, like Dark Acolytes and stuff, because that would be interesting and make it more difficult. But he's in severe trouble. Like, this is auto-killing that every turn, so I don't even have to worry about it. I guess Alex Straza is not the way of the future. Let's draw a card. Oh, well, that fits in with my casting curve. Although, if I do play the Sludge Belcher, he becomes a target, so maybe I want to actually hold off on that. Fine. I am ready. This guy's going down anyway is non-heroic mode doesn't appear to be a threat. If he flame strikes now, I'm still gonna kill him. Oh, that's a little that guy's ability is a little optimistic. Corruption? You're playing corruption? Dude, I mean I guess it's one mana and it kills stuff. So for early in the game to to help his eggs get a foothold, maybe that helps out, but seems kinda dubious. We've got five, ten, Fifteen. Hell, I can Alex tries a him and still win. Got your hopes up, buddy. Those eggs were meant for glorious experiments. Uh, so that's egg on your face, buddy. It is a four boss wing, so I guess having an easy one is not an issue. But again, we don't know what it's gonna be like on heroic. I'm guessing they'll make it harder. See how easily I can corrupt even this giant red dragon. Is is that an accomplishment? I don't know. Whatever. So he's got zero mana. So every turn he gives each player two cards. Wow. Ah, uh, that's probably not going to work out well for me. What state is my rogue deck in right now? I know I like usually try to not mod modify decks until I have to, but I don't honestly know what my rogue deck is like right now. Okay, it's fine. I was trying something different for a while, and it was not working out. Or at least it wasn't my style. We'll just we'll just play the rogue deck and see how bad he stops me with his crazy card drawingness. I mean, this is probably a job for a Murloc deck, but that's not my style. I don't have Gang Up in here. If his plan is to deck me, de Gang Up would be awesome. It would be a good in this fight in general, but I don't know. What? I don't know why I'm threatening him when he's actually telling me to, like, help finish him off. He's, like, trying to be, like, the honorable guy or whatever. Uh, it's too late. Nefarian's corruption has taken hold. The fury of Blackrock courses through my veins. Oh, he is gonna, he is trying to deck you. Wow. 
Guess I don't have time to put a dagger out for this guy. Yeah, this is not going to be good. The cards are going to start getting blown up immediately. I was going to say in a second, but nope, now. Still, for this like non-heroic version, I don't think it would too be too hard to build a rogue deck to counter this. A lot of fast stuff. Oh, that is not good, though. Holy crap, that is not good. Wow. Uh, no, I'm going to put out this... No. I won't get combo on him if I play him next turn. No, I can't. Yeah. This guy's toast. Yeah, this is going to be interesting on Heroic, because on normal mode, it would be easy to build a deck to, to just stomp this. I would think. Oh, he's got the gang up too. Oh, that is really bad. Maybe not so easy to stomp this. I don't know. Ow. I needed that backstab. Okay, well, I guess I can Dark Iron him to kill that. <coughs> so he's actually found a use for Clockwork Giants. Uh, stop blowing up my cheap cards. I need the cheap cards. Screw you. This is not going to work. I have one of those cheap cards, I could take your sharp sword oil and things would go better, but no, I am screwed. I cannot even play two guys. I haven't had time to get a dagger. I don't know how worthwhile that was, but... Oh, I'm going to be decked in seconds. That was excessive. Ow. Uh, they're a big fan of corruption for thematic reasons around here, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> These guys are not good against this either. Wow. Doesn't really matter what I do. Make a dagger, deadly poison. Yeah, that works. Here we go. Um, it's gonna be three damage to everything. I think it probably just should be doing it to him, but then he. Well, this thing is not gonna live long enough. Uh, I guess I could use it to attack it. So okay. Take the four. Throw my blade at him kill it with my corrupted slime. But I have seven cards left. It is not going to work out well. And he ganged up his, his clockwork giants. And he's doing it again. Both protects him from deck death, and he's going to try to stop me. I don't have the clockwork giants to use against him, but there are ways to do things. Um... Yeah, it doesn't really matter at this point. There is no way I can possibly remotely win. So, whatever. My hand is too full. Ow. Yeah, I was gonna. I can use. I was gonna use those against him. Zero mana deal two damage to the enemy hero. Wow. Oh, and he has more than two of that. Which means he probably has the fourth one in his hand now because he's drawn so many cards. Yeah. So that's not working out too well. Um... Anyway, I can get lethal out of this. <laughs> I'm thinking no. I mean, I can hit him for 6, 13, another 6. 
but that's not enough. Not even close. And I don't have enough mana to do anything else, really, so... I can't hit anything with this, where he would live to double up that damage. What's their threshold? Six cards or more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's there's no way I could have gotten it to work right. I guess I can pretend that I can live for a turn here. Here we go. But like, since I can't play any guys or anything, like what am I gonna do? Oh, look at this! I die of fatigue right now. So you gotta remember, he has six to eight damage of just like instant when you get low. Of the other's hand. Okay, well, let's go make some quick tweaks and see if we can take that out. So, like I said, I don't think we want the weapon based strategy, honestly. Weapons are a little bit expensive. Sludge Belcher is also expensive. I should maybe. You might get put back in. That won't. Sharp Sword Oil? No. Well. We'll, we'll, we'll see. The Sharp Sword might go back in. Um, Auto Barber is not right for this. Eviscerate, probably. Blade Fury, again, not use weapon stuff. Do I, the Shadow Steps might make it in. They're cheap. Preparation is pretty good. Or, if I had two preparations, then the Sharp Sword Oil would be better. I might want the Sharp Sword Oil, but I don't know. Yeah, Sinister Strike, Betrayals, Gang Up, Sap. Uh, not Shiv. Do do do. Blade, Phantom Knives, Hit Crack, Iron Sensei, we want. So I may, I may end up putting it back into Goblin Auto Barbers so for bots. Sabotage, he doesn't have weapons. Probably not worth it. We'll try this, it might get it'll get cut again because I have I'm already at no room, right? <laughs> Ogre Brew's probably gonna get cut because I'm gonna want more uh Yeah, I'm gonna want more mechs. Dark iron similarly. Expensive stuff. Okay, abusive sergeants, pretty strong. Uh, Dragon Egg, I don't think I'm going to get that going. <coughs> Leper Gnomes. And... Not, not the Zombie Chow. Neutron's probably good. Bluegills. What do I really want? I'm going to need some kind of firepower, because he's going to start putting out big stuff, too. Mac Warpers would be really good if I could get that going. I'll put the other one in later. It's This is another, like, again, it's always the same stupid, stupid, bad interface decisions they have. Bad decision number one. You can't put in more than the maximum number of cards in a deck. That's idiotic. When you're building a deck, you want to put in, like, 50 cards and then trim it down. You want to be able to put in all the cards you want, not have to think of what card you want, go back and find it. It's really bad design. Really bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I want the deck hands, because I'm probably not going to have time to make weapons. Eggs are tempting, but probably no. I don't think I'm going to go with Murlocs initially, although I'm sure that's a good strategy. I'm just not a Murloc guy. Uh, the big game hunter would be excellent. We're gonna want them. Do I actually want the sinister strikes? I'm, I was thinking I'd be using them for combo stuff, but but how many combos do I have? I have basically sharp sword oil and the ringleader. I've even the SI seven agent might be coming out. I don't know. If I play with the shadow steps. I mean, that lets me get the combo stuff, too. 
Sinister Strike seems like the thing you do against this guy, but I think I'd rather have more guys. I don't want to play Death Lord against him. That's for sure. Not not you. Goblin Sapper would be pretty good, though. I don't want the second one of them. Do you go through preparation, sharp sword at all? I don't think it's necessary. I think we'll take that. I think the mind control tech, I'm in a bad position if the mind control tech comes into play. If that's needed. We're going to hope it's not quite that bad, although it probably is. Uh, Wolf Rider, we kind of want the spider tanks or something, some other mech, right? Because. I mean, I could go with. The micro machines, or I could be going with the uh, the annoyatrons to help keep me alive. I think I gotta go fairly aggressive on this. Probably micro machines. User surgeons, leopard gnomes, okay, gang up. So next, gotta have enough like good stuff in it to make it work. Part of that is I want to have more mechs for the iron sensei because you gang up the iron sensei, they can buff each other. But you do want to have other mechs out there in case. Do I want some late game card to help me win? Dread Corsair would be good if I was still going with weapons, but I don't think I am. The heal bot could help me later on. Seems kind of desperate. Manipulator, Grim Patrons. Both of them could save my butt when I get low there, prevent them from using all those things. But I don't think that's really the issue. Could be wrong. Emperor Thorazan. Oh, that would be fun. Am I going to have enough guys for the Sharp Sword Oil? It's really strong, and I do want to burn him down, because he's going to kill me fast. The Saps should be critical for getting rid of his bad stuff and the Betrayals. Puts out two Clockworks, Betrayal, Sap. That would, that's the ideal. Do I, do the, are the Shadow Steps really that good? I mean, they're free. They let me double Ringleader. Uh, Mech Warper is kind of useless, but I guess if it gets damaged. Big Game Hunter again. Could save an Iron Sensei, although they trigger at the end of turn, so that's not particularly good. I don't know. It, it does let me trigger all my combo stuff. What do I take out to fit in Thorazan? That's pretty tough. Ringleader is pretty critical. I should maybe just go with it the way it is now. So these legends are all going to look appealing, but what are they really going to do for me? Yeah, lots of good ones. Uh, oh, should play mountain giants? Duh. I, I kept thinking giant. There's some kind of giant I should be playing. Even though most of my hand is devoted to like reducing the number of cards. Maybe I'll take out the Shadow Steps for the Mountain Giants. I'll, the Shadow Steps would be good. Oh, I only have one Mountain Giant. Oh, okay. Mountain Giant and Thorazan. There we go. Wasted enough of our time. Let's go take him out. Uh, I think it's going to take a lot more work to plan for whatever he's doing on Heroic. Can't imagine it's going to be easy, but... Even with this tiny amount of thought put in, I suspect I should do okay. More mechs to go with the mech warpers would potentially be good, but it really depends on whether you get the mech warpers. Now you'll get you're gonna get them faster. Oh, I really should have put in the one I should have put in the one cost mechs instead of maybe these guys. It's too late. To combo with the Mech Warbird. You see that? You play them for free. The 
missiles. Ow. Really annoying of you. So we're definitely playing the Mech Warper first. It, if he doesn't get naturalized, then I can Abusive Sergeant him and then play the Defias. If he does get naturalized, then I will still Abusive Sergeant him. Or I'll Abusive Sergeant nothing and get the Defias out anyway. But looks like I can get that damage. So he's got more Mech Warpers, which is not a bad choice, because they at least make each other cheaper for him. But we keep playing stuff. I don't know if he's got a lot of AoE in there. I didn't see any the other time. He has not been playing a lot of cards. He saved his coin for what? Implosion. He doesn't have AoE, but he does have the Imp Army. Uh, so Betrayal could kill two of them. Now they're just 1-1s, one but... I don't know. I would like to get this guy out, but I can't do that and Betrayal, and my guys will suffer horribly at the hands of all those 1-1s. One so I think I actually want to kill the 1-1s. One even though it's sad. You looking at me? <laughs> Going okay so far. I've got sap for I've got sap and betrayal if he starts putting out clockworks and stuff. <coughs> he his deck is gonna be all mech warpers. He's gonna be like mech warper, mech warper, mech warper, because they get cheaper and cheaper. That is a little bit obnoxious, obnoxious, actually. Okay, he blows up one of my guys within a rage. Not a big deal. Iron Sensei! Iron Sensei is a death machine, so I gotta keep this guy alive for that. Um, so I might backstab SI7 that. It's not getting out, like, Gigantor here, who maybe should be a higher priority, but my, honestly, my army's working out pretty well as it is. Iron Sensei is a death machine. And now I can gang him up. And I can play another one. Naturalize the Iron Sensei. Or does he go for the bigger guy? Goes for the bigger guy. My hand wow. Aw, oh, you... Wait. He's going to live long enough to function. Yes! My hand is too full. Oh, really? You blew up my mountain giant? You dink! doesn't really matter because you're dead. I'm so tempted to do a whole bunch of ganging up and stuff, but actually I've got so many ways to kill you right now. The Iron Sensei will kill you. He's been corrupted. Normally they don't go on offense quite so much, but... Oh, I don't have enough mana for Sharp Sword now? Damn it. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter because you're dead. I did not know that the sensei said sign, but I, but deadly. I don't think I've ever had one live long enough to attack. You've killed one of the good guys. Does this make you sad? This is one of the good cards, that's for sure. Two four for three again, always pretty decent. But after you cast a spell, deal two damage for free. like just you get a two point arcane missile with every spell. That rocks. Might be good for a mage version of that deck. Although, I, I think the rogue is still the one to play. But then again, on heroic, it might be different. So, next up is Chromagus here, and we're going to see how rough that is next time. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. Or, on your touchscreen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touchscreen is not recommended.